China is the centre of uh, hydropower in the world and southwest China is the centre of China's hydropower. Towns in Tibet are vanishing underwater as China races to build giant dams along the Yangtze River, aiming to supercharge its economy. They can effectively optimise China's energy structure, bringing benefits to both the environment and the economy. What makes it even riskier, these sites sit in one of the most earthquake-prone zones on Earth. Facing such extreme challenges, what could go wrong? in these remote, essential regions. Let us reveal the dangerous stakes of China's newest mega dams. China is building a large network of dams along its longest river, the Yangtze, as part of its plan to grow the country's economy. These dams include many hydroelectric power stations, which are located in some of the most remote and difficult places to access on Earth. The Yangtze starts in the high mountains, and its water is vital to nearly one-fifth of the world's population. As the world watches closely, the implications of this project begin to emerge in unexpected ways, raising urgent questions about the fate of the river's delicate ecosystem. The Chinese government is building over 12 dams in specific parts of this river. The location of these dams in narrow valleys makes construction even harder because of the rough landscape. To make matters worse, these areas are also some of the most earthquake-prone regions in the world, adding more challenges to the process. The impact of these projects is huge. Building these dams has caused entire towns in Tibet to be flooded, leading to rare protests in a region where the government usually has strict control. This shows how big the risks are that the Chinese government is taking to try and grow the country's economy through improved infrastructure. Just to give an idea of the scale, one dam, the Batong Dam, needed over 10,000 workers and about 8 million cubic meters of concrete. It cost around $31 billion. This dam alone can generate 16,000 megawatts of electricity, which is more than twice as much as the largest dam in the United States. This shows just how big China's plans for hydroelectric power really are. But this isn't the only impressive part. The Jinsha section of the river, which runs between Tibet and Sichuan, is estimated to have enough potential to produce 112 gigawatts of electricity. That's about a quarter of China's total hydroelectric capacity. Some locals even say that while China is a world leader in hydroelectric power, southwest China is the heart of the country's efforts in this area. These projects also tie into China's environmental goals. Hydroelectric power is a key part of China's plan to reach net zero emissions. The region is known for having the most hydroelectric potential anywhere in the world, making it important not just for China, but for the world's move towards sustainable energy. However, the natural and social challenges they face are just as big as their ambitions. But that's not all. There are even more complex problems ahead. In the highlands of Tibet, rivers race down to the lower areas of land with amazing speed. These rivers carry a lot of energy that could be used to make electricity through hydropower. However, the same steep paths that give this energy also bring big geological risks. This area is known for its geological activity, so there's a need for high-tech solutions to build safe structures, especially for hydropower projects. Building in such unstable places involves incredible engineering and a lot of risk. For example, the dams along the Jincha River face many problems because this area is where tectonic plates meet, causing the ground to move often. These conditions mean builders have to use new methods to make sure everything stays stable. One of the big projects here is a dam that will be 239 meters tall, which is even taller than the Hoover Dam in the United States. Building this dam is tricky because it's right on the riverbed, which has a soft, almost jelly-like bottom. To make the dam secure, workers mix rocks and concrete and pour it into the base to strengthen it against the shaky ground. Next, we explore how China's giant dams face nature's challenges. Moreover, the area often has landslides and avalanches, which makes building even harder. To fight these natural disasters, huge walls of concrete are built along the sides of the gorge. Each concrete layer on the dam's sides is as big as a skyscraper, showing just how huge these projects are. The dams are built in one of Asia's most earthquake-prone areas, surrounded by steep mountains. In 2007 alone, the area felt over a hundred earthquakes. 
A big earthquake in 2008 near the Sichuan Basin made it clear just how unstable this region can be. These geological issues make building dams here a very tough job, needing special steps to make sure they are safe and work well. But this wasn't the worst part. In one of the most tragic events in China's history, a massive earthquake claimed the lives of over 87,000 people. If a similar quake were to happen along the Jinsha River, it could be catastrophic for the many dams in that region. If even one dam breaks, it could set off a chain reaction, causing others to fail, making the disaster much worse. But the threat doesn't stop with natural disasters. These dams also endanger the cultural and historical treasures of Tibetan heritage. One of the biggest dams, the Gangar Dam, will create a huge reservoir that will stretch for miles, forcing entire villages to relocate and flooding ancient landmarks. Almost 4,000 people will lose their homes, and five sacred temples could end up underwater. One of the most at-risk sites is the Wo Monastery, a beautiful place built in the 13th century. Inside are frescoes and murals that are over 700 years old, and all of that could be lost if the dam is completed. During the Cultural Revolution, many monasteries in Tibet were destroyed, wiping out large parts of Tibetan history. The Wo Monastery survived back then, but now it faces another kind of threat, this time from the dam. But this isn't the worst part. Despite the clear danger, videos have surfaced showing Tibetan communities bravely protesting the dam. Protests like these are rare because the Chinese government keeps a tight grip on the area. Since the 1950s, China has tried to force Tibetans to blend into the rest of the country, pushing them to follow the government's rules. Monasteries like Wo are more than religious places. They are the heart of Tibetan culture and community life. Even with all these risks, the dams on the Jinsha River remain a key part of China's plan for energy. While these dams can quickly provide a lot of power, they come with a heavy cost, both to the environment and to the people who live there. The risk of a disaster is high, and if something goes wrong, the results could be devastating. It's a tough choice between meeting energy demands and saving precious cultural heritage. Can the Three Gorges Dam in China really affect the Earth's rotation? Let's take a closer look and find out. Sometimes, the most impressive engineering projects can also bring big risks. This is true for the Three Gorges Dam on the Yangtze River in China. It's the largest hydroelectric dam in the world, and while it's an amazing accomplishment, you might wonder if such a giant structure could cause some problems. The truth is, it could have a big impact. The idea for this dam came from Sun Yat-sen, a famous Chinese leader who suggested it in his book The International Development of China back in 1919. But the actual building of the dam didn't start until 1994, after it was approved by the National People's Congress. Now, let's see how the Yangtze River meets China's engineering might. The Yangtze River was chosen for this massive project because of its strong, solid granite river valley. In the first part of the river, the water flows so fast that it could theoretically support 63 Eiffel Towers. To make the most of this power, the dam was equipped with 32 huge generators, each one weighing 6,000 tons. When all of these generators are running, the dam reaches its full capacity. But this isn't even the biggest part. Think about how large and powerful this dam is. It's an incredible piece of engineering, but it also makes you wonder what kind of effects it could have on the environment and even the planet itself. Could it actually change the way the Earth spins? You may be thinking, how could a dam possibly affect the Earth's rotation? Well, even though the idea might sound far-fetched, we know that moving massive amounts of water and shifting its weight can technically influence the planet's rotation. The massive structure holds 32 large turbines, with each one able to generate 700 megawatts of power. On top of that, there are two smaller turbines as well. Together, they produce an enormous amount of electricity, far more than what is needed to power a large area. But the dam isn't just about making electricity. It serves several important purposes. One of its key roles is controlling the river during flood season, which helps prevent disasters. By managing how the river flows, the dam protects millions of people living downstream especially in the big cities close to the Yangtze River. The dam has also created a huge reservoir that stretches
stretches across a wide area, showing just how big this project really is. While the dam is certainly impressive, it hasn't come without its problems. From the very beginning, its construction brought about serious challenges. More than one million people had to leave their homes to make room for the dam. The building process itself caused many floods and disrupted several important historical and archaeological sites. This has led to a mix of praise for the dam's achievements and concern about its effect on the region and its people. The Three Gorges Dam has caused strong reactions from countries around the world. And if that wasn't already enough, here's something even more surprising. The dam might actually be slowing down the Earth's rotation. The dam's reservoir can hold up to 42 billion tons of water when it's completely full. NASA scientists have pointed out that shifting this much water can impact the planet. This huge mass of water changes how the Earth spins by increasing what's called its moment of inertia, a fancy term from Newton's laws of motion. So, what happens if the Earth spins slower? Well, in simple terms, our days and nights would become longer because it would take more than 24 hours for the Earth to make one complete spin. On top of that, with the Earth spinning more slowly, there would be less centrifugal force which could make us feel heavier. In other words, thanks to this dam, we might feel like we've gained a bit of weight. In China, everything tends to be on a large scale, whether it's cities, roads, or massive building projects. One of the biggest examples of this is the Three Gorges Dam which is the largest and most powerful dam in the world. The dam has created a huge reservoir, so big that it even affects the Earth's rotation just a little. Its size is unlike anything else seen around the globe. Next, we dive into the controversies and achievements of the Three Gorges Dam. This dam is both impressive and worrisome at the same time. It provides electricity to millions of people, but there are still concerns about its safety and stability. Many wonder if the dam could fail and what risks are involved. This discussion dives into the details of the Three Gorges Dam, one of the greatest construction achievements ever. The dam stretches two and a half kilometers at its widest point and stands more than 180 meters tall. It spans across the Yangtze River in Hubei, creating a vast reservoir that stretches over 600 kilometers, which is larger than Singapore. But what makes the dam stand out isn't just its size. With a total power capacity of 22 and a half gigawatts, the dam holds the record as the largest power station in the world. For comparison, the Grand Coulee Dam in the United States only produces about a quarter of that, and even nuclear power stations can't compete. At full power, the Three Gorges Dam can supply energy to over 4.5 million people all year long. But this isn't the whole story. The dam doesn't just generate electricity, it provides clean, renewable energy to millions of people. Another key reason for building it was to help protect towns and cities along the Yangtze River from flooding. Small floods happen often during the rainy season, but the bigger, more destructive floods are harder to predict. About 90 years ago, a terrible flood killed as many as 4 million people, showing just how important it was to find a solution. That's when the idea of building a huge dam to control the Yangtze's flow first came about. Today, the Three Gorges Dam affects the lives of over 400 million people living nearby. This massive structure plays a key role in protecting downstream cities like Wuhan and Shanghai from serious floods. It works by holding back a lot of water in its reservoir during the rainy seasons and slowly releasing it in a controlled way. However, the system isn't perfect. In fact, back in 2010, heavy rainfall forced the operators to release water to keep the reservoir safe, which led to floods, landslides, and sadly, the loss of hundreds of lives downstream. Even with these problems, people believe the dam has greatly reduced how often severe floods happen, changing the risk from once every 10 years to once every 100 years. Building the dam was no easy task and took 17 years to complete. At first, engineers had to figure out how to stop the Yangtze River's flow upstream while still allowing enough water to reach cities downstream that depend on it. To make this happen, workers built stone barriers upstream which created dry areas where they could start laying the foundation. They also used temporary barriers called cofferdams to redirect the river. Once the concrete
concrete work was finished, the engineers installed turbines, and finally, they took down the coffer dams, allowing water to flow through the turbines for the first time. The total cost of the project was over $30 billion. The dam does more than just control floods and generate power. It has also made the Yangtze River easier and safer to navigate. Before, the river was known for its dangerous currents and unpredictable water levels. Now, the dam has stabilized those conditions, allowing much larger ships to pass through. The dam has special ship locks and even the world's biggest ship lift, making it possible for huge vessels to cross the river smoothly. These changes have not only improved transportation, but also boosted safety and helped economic activity along the Yangtze River. Finally, we look at the human and environmental impacts of this massive project. This machine can lift ships that weigh up to 3,000 tons to a height of 110 meters. Unlike the old-fashioned locks that take about four hours to move ships, this lift gets the job done in just 30 minutes. Building something this incredible takes a lot of knowledge in science and engineering. Learning about this can be interesting and hands-on. Today, we're talking about Brilliant, our sponsor. Brilliant offers fun online courses in subjects like math, data science, and computer science. It's great for anyone who wants to do well in exams or grow skills for their job. Brilliant has many exciting lessons for all kinds of learners, from beginners to experts. Each month, new lessons are added on topics like data science, artificial intelligence, and engineering. When you sign up, you'll take a short quiz to match the lessons with your interests and skill level. You can learn at your own pace. Brilliant even has special courses from well-known YouTube channels like Kurzgesagt and Real Engineering. For example, you can learn about the Tether Launcher, a unique way to send spacecraft or satellites into space. To get started, go to brilliant.org slash top luxury or click the link in the description. You'll get a 30-day free trial and the first 200 people who subscribe will get Get a 20% discount on the yearly premium plan. Thanks for your support. Now let's get back to the world's biggest ship lift. Since this project was completed, the amount of cargo on the Yangtze River has increased by six times. Shipping costs have dropped a lot, showing how this project has helped the local economy. Recently, it was reported that more than 23,000 ships passed through the Three Gorges in the first half of 2023, which is a 10% increase compared to last year. But that's not all. The structure has also become a popular tourist attraction, bringing in almost 10 million visitors in the past five years. It even has its own viewing platform and a museum where people can learn more about the history and building of the project. At first, everything seems great, but as you dive deeper, you realize that building a project this large and impactful comes with major challenges. So what are these issues? Even before construction began, developers knew that many towns and villages would end up underwater because of the artificial lake that would be created. This forced about 1,400,000 people to leave their homes and move to higher ground. Although the government did provide help and compensation, many people found their new homes to be poorly built. The areas they moved to often lacked basic services, and the infrastructure wasn't good enough. These people had to leave behind not just their homes, but their land and the life they were used to. There's also a huge impact on the environment and the wildlife in and around the Yangtze River. Landslides have become more common since the project started, causing damage worth millions. On top of that, the river is home to many species of animals and plants, but now many of them are at risk of disappearing. For example, the Chinese river dolphin and the Chinese paddlefish are now possibly extinct, partly because of the dam, though shipping and other factors also play a role. Another concern is whether the dam is really effective at controlling big floods. During the heavy rains of 2020, which were the worst in almost 60 years, the river rose significantly. This led to the deaths or disappearances of more than 150 people, raising questions about whether the dam can really prevent such disasters. When you look at the reservoir, it might seem peaceful and even beautiful, but this lake isn't natural. It exists only because of the huge dam. 
This makes it very different from any normal lake and shows just how massive and difficult it is to manage a man-made structure of this size. Is the dam truly effective in preventing major flood disasters or does it pose greater risks? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.